the electromagnetic spectrum. First of all, what is an electromagnetic wave? Um, it's literally exactly what it sounds like. It's a traveling wave of electricity and magnetism, electromagnetism, electricity, magnetism. We see electromagnetic waves as light. How fast do electromagnetic waves move? Um, electromagnetic waves move at the speed of light because they are light. Um, it's not a coincidence that it goes at the speed of light. It is light. Uh, the speed of light in a vacuum is 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. It's really fast. That's 186,000 miles per second. And we use a lowercase c for speed of light in vacuum. So c equals 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second. Light travels slower in other materials like glass or water um, or air. All right, colors of the rainbow. Isaac Newton, as if he didn't do enough, uh, discovered that white light was composed of different colors. Um, you can break white light down into the different colors, but you can't break down the colors into anything else. You can't take red and turn it into something different. Um, he insisted on there being seven colors because he was superstitious. Um, so Roy G. Biv, um, most people agree, there's really nothing between blue and violet, but Newton really wanted to shove uh, indigo in there just so there could be seven colors. All right. Um, we see different frequencies. Different frequencies appear to our eyes, our eyes as different colors. Okay. So red light is the lowest frequency light. Then orange is second lowest. Then yellow, green, blue, indigo. And violet light is the highest frequency. Okay. So when we see different colors, we just see the same thing but different frequencies. All right, now I'm going to tell you about one of the craziest experiments in all of science. Um, in 1800, this is William Herschel. Um, he, he's building on uh, what Newton did. He wanted to discover which color of light carried the most heat. Okay, if you sit out in the sun, you know that you can get hot just from sitting in the sun. Light carries heat. He wanted to know which color had the most heat. So he sends the light through a prism and placed a thermometer in each color. And he placed a thermometer outside of the light as a... Uh, Control, you guys remember that word from like um, seventh grade or sixth grade science? Uh, that's the control. Um, so, which thermometer do you think became the hottest? The red, the uh, orange, the yellow, the blue? Um, what do you think? So, it wasn't any of the ones that William Herschel thought, it was the control. William Herschel discovered invisible light. Okay, um, it was just amazing. He found that the one that wasn't sitting in the rainbow, the one that was in the darkness, is the one that got hottest. Um, and what he discovered was the rainbow doesn't end after red or violet. It goes almost infinitely in both directions. There's invisible light. Um, the rainbow goes past red, goes past violet, but we can't see those colors with our eyes. Um, the colors that we see with our eyes are only a tiny fraction of the colors available. There's a whole spectrum of the world that we just don't see. Um, X-rays, thats uh, it's just another frequency of light we can't see with our eyes. Um, X-rays let us see through things. Infrared lets us see in the dark. Uh, cell phones and computers are constantly communicating wirelessly by broadcasting and detecting invisible light. Your cell phone, if you could see the same colors that your cell phone's giving off, it would just be a blinking light that the cell tower can see and can communicate with. Um, so totally by accident. He, he was just trying to figure out which which color of light was the hottest, but he accidentally discovered that, that there's all this light that we just can't see. Um, so he inadvertently discovered the electromagnetic spectrum. Okay, um, This is on page two of the reference table. Okay, We have gamma rays, x-rays, ultraviolet. Um, this tiny sliver here, that's what you see with your eyes. Okay? Um, and we see the uh, visible light here, violet, blue, green, yellow, orange, red, which is uh, Vibgyor. That's uh, Roy G. Biv's Russian cousin, Vibgyor. Um, and then after red, we go to infrared, microwave, uh, radio waves. We have TV, FM, AM, and long radio waves. 
okay? So just this tiny fraction is all that we see with our eyes. There's all the rest of this that we can't see that's just out there that maybe uh, if we had different eyes, we'd be able to see all this stuff. Um, it's worth noting that ultraviolet is an extraviolet. Ultraviolet means more than violet because the frequency of ultraviolet is greater than the frequency of violet. And same thing with infrared. Infrared is next to red. Infra means less than. Infrared means less than red. If we look on the bottom of this, we have frequency in hertz. Um, it's powers of 10, 10 to the 21, 10 to the 20, all the way down to 10 to the 5. On top, we have the wavelength in a vacuum, 10 to the negative 13, 10 to the negative 12, all the way down to 10 to the, all the way up to 10 to the 4. Okay, so over here we have a big wavelength and low frequency. Over here we have big frequency and small wavelength. All right, so gamma rays, x rays, ultraviolet, infrared, microwaves, radio waves, they're all just frequencies of light we can't see with our eyes. They're all just different colors. All right, um, so here's some questions. What type of EM wave is the following? 500,000 hertz. Um, that's 5 times 10 to the 5. So all you got to do is you got to find 10 to the 5 hertz. That's uh, right here. Uh, that's a radio wave. You could put long radio wave if you want. Okay, um, this one's 5 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. So meters is wavelength. Hertz is frequency. Meters is wavelength. So we go to wavelength. We go find 10 to the minus 9, that's right here. Um, so that would be x-rays or ultraviolet, either one, x-rays or ultraviolet. Okay, um, you guys should try pausing the video, try doing the next three, and then resuming the video and see if you got them right. Okay, uh, 3 times 10 to the 13 hertz, we find our 10 to the 13 hertz, that's infrared. All right, 2 times 10 to the 14 hertz. 10 to the 14, 10 to the 14, that's infrared also. Uh, 200 meters, that's 2 times 10 to the 2. So on 10 to the 2, and it's meters, so that's wavelength. So 10 to the 2 meters, um, that's right here, that's uh, radio waves. That's somewhere in here. If you wanted to say AM, I wouldn't mark it wrong, but radio waves. Okay, so we're just picking them off of this spectrum. Um, here we go. What's the frequency of a 632 nanometer electromagnetic wave and what color is it? So how do we get the frequency? Um, we have to do V equals F lambda. Okay, the 300, 632 nanometers is the wavelength. Um, so we do V equals F lambda. V is the speed of light. That's the 3.00 times 10 to the 8th meters per second equals F. Um, it's nanometer, so it's 632 times 10 to the negative 9 meters. Okay, so F equals 3 times 10 to the 8th divided by 632 times 10 to the negative 9 equals 4.76 times 10 to the 14 hertz. That's our frequency. Now what color is it? Um, we have to look at the colors of the visible light. Okay, when it says what color is it, that's visible light. Okay, these are all 10 to the 14, so we have to find 4.76. So, um, Red is between 3.84 and 4.82, and guess what? 4.76 is between those two numbers, so it would be red. Okay, um, why don't you guys try this one? What's the frequency of a 500 nanometer EM wave, and what color is it? Uh, please pause the video and try it, and when you resume, we'll go over the answer. All right. Um, so this one, same thing as the last one. We solve for F, it's 6 times 10 to the 14 hertz, and the color is green.